Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to run through with you all some of the best settings you should have enabled to increase your FPS performance in the final shape. It's also going to help with input lag, I believe, especially as we get closer to Salvation's Edge Raid World's First Race. You're going to want to increase your FPS performance and make sure everything's running as smoothly as possible. So I've decided to make this video to help you guys. Let's get straight into it. All right, you want to open up your NVIDIA control panel settings and go to Manage 3D Settings. This is where all the magic happens. Now you can go ahead and run with all the anti-aliasing settings set to off. Because the game already looks pretty smooth, regardless of the settings being on or off. And it's believed that you actually gain a graphical and FPS performance by leaving these off. What Gamma Correction does is if you have a bright object next to a dark object, or a high gamma object next to a low gamma object, and they're touching on your screen, this setting will basically blend the line, alter the brightness of where those two objects meet so they look smoother together. So turning this off means you can have a black next to a white, or an enemy sitting next to a wall for example, and they will contrast against each other really well. There's no blending done. So I think this helps you see people and enemies better by having this setting turned off. Now believe it or not, having the low latency mode set to off is actually better for you. This will enable you to get the best input lag. This is because the way that the GPU and CPU handle the game off will give you the best input lag and the best FPS. Next up we have power management mode. Make sure you change this to prefer maximum performance. Now similarly, go down to texture filtering quality and change that to high performance. This will also turn your texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization to on. This will give you the best FPS as well. Now for negative LOD bias, it's recommended to keep this on allow because it keeps your FPS smooth and stable as you flick between things. Now make sure you have your vertical sync also turned off in these settings. Now let's move over to the color settings. For all the color settings, I basically run default for everything. The reason for that is I change all my settings on the physical monitor itself as opposed to in the NVIDIA control panel. The reason for that is because I want to ensure that it doesn't affect input lag or my FPS in any way by changing the settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Now for the last settings in the NVIDIA control panel is the desktop size and positioning. Now I have this set on aspect ratio and my default resolution which is 1440p resolution with a refresh rate of 144 hertz. Now obviously you will change this to your scaling, whatever your uh, monitor resolution is and whatever refresh rate you have, change it to that. Now this next one is a little situational, but in the pro FPS scene, not related to Destiny 2, there have been some reports that having in-game overlay, aka shadow play turned on, has um, basically, some people have complained that bullets have not hit, uh, bullets have not been registering with in-game overlay turned on. Now this setting is found in your GeForce Experience settings. Uh, it's basically shadow play. Um, so basically, just to ensure that your bullets are registering, aka hitting, it's probably recommended to turn this off. However, for Destiny 2 specifically, it may be situational. There have been reports, like I said, in other games on a more competitive level where this has been a thing. So whether you want to turn this off or on is up to you. But if you absolutely want to have the best performance, the best registration, the best input lag, maybe turn this off for the world's first race. Now in my monitor settings, I have my brightness set to 97. I have my contrast set to 87. And I have my sharpness set to 100. Now up the top here are some pretty important settings. I have 144 hertz refresh rate. FreeSync is off. One millisecond motion blur reduction is set to on. Black stabilizer is 50 and my response time is faster, which is the fastest option I have. You basically want to have the best settings possible here in your monitor settings. If your monitor has the option for DIAC, you want to have DIAC set to premium. Now, these are my settings from my prior season in an older recording, but they're still relevant today because I believe they are the best settings for Destiny 2. At the beginning of the video here, I explained basically that if you have your window mode set to full screen, you're meant to have better input lag. But for Destiny 2, I've actually never noticed the difference. So I preferred to have it on windowed full screen, so it's easier to alt tab into different applications and things like that. I have my resolution set to my monitor desktop resolution, which is 1440p. Uh, VSync is turned off. My frame rate cap is unlimited or off, but you can set a cap if you like. So you can actually uh, capitalize from less lesser incoming damage because if your frame rate cap is unlimited or the highest possible in Destiny 2, sometimes you can actually take more damage the higher that your frames are. 
Uh, my brightness is at max. And here's my advanced video settings. I have basically everything the lowest it can go. Despite having these on the lowest they can go, the game still visually looks really good. So it's better that you capitalize on higher FPS performance by turning most of these to the lowest setting possible. So just, base, just copy everything that I have here. And the game, I believe, will look best and perform best. You can play around with render resolution. This is what I'm looking at right now. You can lower that for better FPS performance at the cost of uh, quality, but probably just leave it at 100. Only reduce that if you need more FPS. But this basically concludes the video, guys. I think I covered everything that's important. I hope these settings do help you and you experience better FPS performance, better input lag, just basically everything that we covered. And I hope you can enjoy the Final Shape expansion and the Salvation's Edge Raid World's First Race and Day One experience. I hope this gives some people a better competitive edge, at least in the sense of FPS performance. Uh, leave your comments down below if anything here helped you. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.